So, balik tayo dito sa ating course page. Okay? So, meron na tayong done. Done na lahat dito. If you notice, yung kaninang wala sa check-up period na restricted, lumabas lahat. Nakita nyo? Di ba dati, check-up prelim na yun agad? Okay? So, prelim na agad siya. Pero dito, dahil natapos na natin ang learner's activity, dahil natapos na natin ang learner's activity, lumabas na lahat yung mga restricted. Ngayon, anong gagawin natin dito? Module 1 is to view. You just need to click it. But of course, kapag na-view ninyo, kailangan nyo pa rin basahin at panuorin yung mga videos dyan para alam nyo ang isasagot ninyo sa assignment. So, click the link here for the lecture notes. Lalabas dyan ang inyong module or yung notes ninyo. You can download it. Pwede nyo siyang i-download para magkaroon kayo ng soft copy. So, this is your module 1. Okay. And then, merong video na ina-attach yung mga facilitators ninyo. It is either video na gawa nila or either video supplementary to the information. So, you just need to hanap lang kayo dyan kung saan siya pwedeng tumapat na magiging yung kamay, baka pwedeng i-click yun. So, ito, for example, in this case, you just need to click the video and then you will be um, redirected to YouTube. Okay? Panoorin ninyo kasi dyan nagdi-discuss. Okay? For example, you are done already. Okay. And then, balik tayo doon sa check-up period. Nakikita ninyo na meron na kayong done. Okay? Meron dito September 6. Okay. Meron ditong quiz. Pero nakikita nyo merong restricted. Pag may nakita kayong restricted, ibig sabihin, yan yung mga kailangan nyo pang gawin or kailangan nyo antayin. In that case, yung quiz dyan ay naka-restrict. Pero mag-open siya sa 6 pa. So, ibig sabihin, hindi nyo siya matitake kapag wala pang September 6. But for the purpose of um, for the purpose of this walkthrough, i-open ko siya. Sample lang naman siya. Para alam nyo kung paano mag-quiz or tapos na ba yung quiz or na-submit ba yung quiz. Yung mga ganyan. Okay? So, one minute. One moment lang pala. Hindi one minute. Again, importante na basahin ninyo ang mga restriction, yung mga restricted dyan, kasi dyan yung maiintindahan. Hindi ko po mabasa or hindi ko po mabuksan yung um, activity. Bakit po kaya? Kasi baka meron ka pang hindi nagagawa or meron pang kailangang antay na date. Okay? So for example, I need to refresh it. Okay. So, naalis na yung restricted na date. Meron dito, paano ko, maga paano ko magagawa na, or paano ko makukompletion yung quiz. I need to view it, I need to make attempt, and I need to receive a grade. So, I just need to click it. Yung view na green. I need to make an attempt. Paano ko mag attempt I need to take the quiz. But before you take the quiz, make sure that you already... Um, read your notes or nakapag-watch na kanyang video, you are ready, walang interruption, interruption, walang, baka mamaya wala pala kayong load and then nag-take kayo, baka mamaya, um, ang tawag dito, baka mamaya biglang walang kuryente, mga ganyan. Kasi may mga quizzes na may mga time limit. Okay? For example, this has time limit of one hour. If you can see my screen, one hour, but this is just five items. Diba? 10 items, 1 hour. So, perhaps on our end, masyado nang malawak or matagal or mahaba ang 1 hour for 5 items. Mga tipo kong ganyan. Or 10 items. May makikita rin kayo dito na grade to pass. That is 3 out of 5. That is the passing grade. Still, that depends on your instructor kung magsaset siya ng ganyan. So, para mag-take na ako, I need to click the attempt quiz now. Meron dyan ang warning o 
tawag dyan? Instruction. Your attempt will have a time limit of one hour. When you start, the timer will begin to count down. Ibig sabihin, pag nag na kayo, mag-start na yung timer ninyo. Okay? So, kailangan nyo siyang masubmit before it expires. Ma'am, paano kapag biglang nag-brown out or bigla akong nawala habang nag ako? Kapag sakop pa yun ng isang oras, pwede nyong balikan. Okay? Pwede, pa nyo, pwede nyo pang balikan iyon. For example, after 10 minutes, nawala yung internet ninyo, bumalik agad, pwede nyo siyang mabalikan. Pero kapag natapos na yung one hour, uh, syempre hindi nyo na siya mabalikan kasi nag-end na, you can contact your uh, facilitator in the LMS or if it is real time, you can contact them in Messenger. You need to click the start attempt and then merong magpa-pop up sa inyong window. So, sa, sa ibang facilitators, merong window na magpa-pop up. Yung ibang facilitator, doon na siya direct. So, ito yan. So, makikita niyo yung screen ninyo. Dito sa right corner na naka-enclose ng red box line, nandiyan yung timer left. So, para maging aware kayo kung ilang oras pa. This is question 1. I hindi nyo pa siya na-answeran. And this is 1 point only. Makikita nyo na 1 point siya. In some or to some facilitators, just like me, one question per page ako. Sa ibang facilitators, Isang page, limang question. Isang page, ten questions. Depende sa kanila. Okay? So, you just need to scroll it up and down. So, basically, this, this screen, makikita nyo lang na one question lang siya. So, you need to answer. Example, this is my answer. Nag-change ako ng mind kasi nga nag-save ito sa system. Pagka-click ninyo, you can just clear your choice. Okay? You can clear your choice para nare-record niya. If you are sure with your answer, then you continue with the next page, to the next page. Okay? This is my answer, for example. This is question number two. I still have 58 minutes left. Ma'am, paano kapag wala akong sinagutan? Pwede ba yun? Sige, try natin. Next page. Pwede, pero syempre, um, tawag dito, hindi na siya considered na may score kasi nga hindi ka sumagot. And then, dito sa dulo, meron ditong finish attempt. Okay? You can click finish attempt. Okay. So, nandito yung summary ng mga pinaggagawa ninyo or pinaggagawa ko sa 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 quiz. Answer 1, na saving answer ko. Answer save. Number 2. Number 3, hindi ko sinagutan. Okay. Not yet answered. 4, 5, answer is save. And then, I still have 57 minutes. So, you have the option to return to attempt or submit all and finish. If you're done, for example, nasagot, ayaw ko nang sagutan number 3, I can click submit and finish. Submit all and finish. Okay? Kailangan nyo itong gawin kasi kapag hindi, possible na hindi siya ma-record ng system. Okay? So, submit natin and finish. Once you submit, you will no longer be able to change your answer for this attempt. Yes. This means that you already submitted one attempt. Di ba? So, yun yung condition ng LMS o yung activity na yun. Make one attempt. Dito, magre-reflect yung score ninyo. You, you took the quiz on Friday, 20, 11.33 a.m. You finished it. You completed it on 11.36. You took it for 2 minutes, 53 seconds, and your score is 4.4 out of 5. Okay? So, andyan lahat. So, you can review it eh, kung, kung ano. Alright, so, yeah. Finish review. And then, makakita nyo dito sa quiz for module 1 sample ninyo. Na-view nyo na siya. You already made an attempt. Yung nakapag-attempt na tayo ng isa. And then, basically, nakapag-receive na kayo ng grade. Kasi nga, yung quiz natin automatic, nag-grade siya kapag multiple choice yon. 